mister? I wouldn't stay around here too long if I was you. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> Captain Monroe, I've got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. <laughs> Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. El pobre estaba marrón. ¿Estará la comida hecha en el campamento? Pues yo, yo no los he asesinado, pero se han quedado ahí, eh.
Que salió corriendo. Um, you think the rat is? Joe's right? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Now, well, let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Check out. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. <laughs> Nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish you could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, 
But when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Vanessa. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and the person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Bastante bien, no me puedo quejar. Voy a decir verdad. Ay, joder. ¿Qué da algo? Nope. Vaya por dos. Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. Bienvenidos. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives but I pride myself on being a gentleman really I do but there are limits so let me be very are you okay man someone Jackson take him Hello. away where was I you're a gentleman with limits are you being facetious sir come this way buddy I said are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait here. Buenas. Nice. I'm I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Como ya le dije, aquí sigo. <laughs> no, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. 
Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he's in the middle of his whole professional life. You know what they say about him? High tail Favors, the man who missed a battle. I'm good in a pinta. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Been appointed to negotiate feeling better yeah come on <coughs> let's go <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government why is this so confusing sir why good day Colonel favors well that was remarkably unproductive <coughs> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear Colonel that it wanted peace and peace for all and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Is that... Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man. But shall. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. Don't be dumb. You won't get away with this. Just let him go, okay? I'll kill you. I'll go run. This one. La emoción, dice. En esa parte no se puede dar emoción. En esa parte no se puede tirar. Eh, a... Понятно. 